Are you a freshman at the university? No, no. <laughs> you look like no. a freshman. <laughs> I, uh, I love those barrettes in her hair, man. I tell you what, look at her. She looks like she's 19 years old sitting there with her, like a little lady in her legs crossed. Longer answer and tell you the exact things I would do, okay? Okay? Promise? I'll bet you're as bright as you're good looking. I tell you. I tell you. Look, come here. Come here. Go ahead, the next question. I love it. Sit down, okay. okay. All right. And by the way, that's one of the things. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And before I even get into Lion Biden and his hypocritical State of the Union address and how he fooled all y'all, he tricked y'all, I just want to point out really quick when Trump said grab her by the V box, y'all went crazy. He's disrespecting women. He shouldn't be able to talk like that. This man out here telling grown women that they look like a freshman at the university. He's out here telling grown women that she look, they look 19 with barrettes in their hair. He's out here grabbing little kids on their shoulders still, whispering all up in their ears. And nobody has nothing to say about Uncle Biden. And if you know anything about potential child touchers, the last thing you should be calling someone who acts in a behavior that suggests that that might be going on is Uncle Uncle, any damn thing. Uncle Biden. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're here for episode three of Biden Trick Y'all. He tricked y'all, okay? And don't get me wrong, he tripped the lid tars too. He tricked the lip tars too. So it's not just the black community that got tricked, but I really want to harp on the black community that got tricked. Because see, when Trump first ran against Hillary, I didn't vote for anyone because I like both of them are clowns. I'm not voting for nobody and nobody cared. And I think that's because they genuinely thought Trump had no chance at winning, even though I told them he was going to win and he won. But when this last election came up and I stood on my same ground, like, look, I'm going to vote locally like I always do, control my local legislation because that actually impacts my life. I don't even care about the presidential elections, right? Everyone in my community, okay, they like this. I told you to do Biden. Yeah, we done lost a damn vote. We done lost a vote. That's gonna go to Trump. God damn. I'm worshiping these people like they're God. Ain't nobody worshiping them. But God damn it, Chris. We need somebody in there with fucking sense. I told you to vote for Biden to vote for him not. I'm like, well, I'm not voting for anybody. Yeah, but if you don't vote for anybody, that's a vote for Trump. Well, what difference does it make? They're both idiots. Yeah, but you got to pick the lesser of the two evils. Did we really pick the lesser of the two evils? Because we just talked about which one might be more of a creep, okay? Now, let's talk about the policies, okay? 90% of black women voted for Joe Biden, okay? Under the belief... He was going to defund the police, which was never going to happen. But he hinted at that, lied about that, came out flat out in his union address and said, I think we're all in agreement that we need to fund the police, not defund the police. Now, even if you're going to say he didn't directly say he's going to defund the police, he damn sure didn't say he was going to give them more money. But now he's saying he's going to give them more money. I don't think 90% of black women wanted him to give the police more money. I don't think the black community helped get him in there wanting to give the police more money. But. He tricked y'all, okay? Then here's the next thing. He said he's going to write laws and legislations, okay, to make sure that there's equality as far as how the police handle with black p people. Has he wrote those laws to make sure there's equality in how the police handle black people? Nope. But he wrote Asian hate crime laws. He wrote Asian hate crime bills. But he didn't do nothing as far as anyone hating African Americans. He didn't do anything about it. And now I'm coming for the libtards, okay? Okay. Did he get rid of student loan debt? Nope. Which I told all y'all he wasn't going to get rid of anyway because it's not even in his power to do. And it also would be stupid. The money has to be paid by somebody. But nope, he didn't get rid of it. All he keeps doing is pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. And while it's pushed back, I hope y'all paying on it because guess what? It's collecting more interest and collecting more interest and collecting more interest and collecting more interest. You're just going to get a higher damn bill when it finally comes back to you. He ain't getting rid of student loan debt. He tricked y'all there. Okay? And then he's just a... But he did hold on the LGBTQ plus community. Not everyone gets mad about that. They're like, well, the LGBTQ plus community, they're getting the Equality Acts bill. And that's because they put dollars on theirs, just like the women's right movement. 
puts dollars on theirs. Just like every community, the Asian community, the white community, any community puts dollars on there. The black community is the only community that votes based upon who makes them feel good and says nice things about them. It says stuff like, you're not black if you don't vote for me because the other guy is racist. And then turns around after he gets in the office and makes a disrespectful statement like, oh, George Floyd's death had more of an impact than Martin Luther King's. What the hell are you talking about? Y'all let this man absolutely violate. And then he's an idiot. Y'all talking about the lesser of two evils. This dude says, you know, we need to worry less about inflation. And what we need to do is lower the prices of everything and up the wages for our citizens. How the hell are you going to lower the prices and up the wages at the same time? We have an elected leader who literally doesn't understand basic economics. Raise wages and lower inflation at the same time. How are you going to do that? This guy is a goofball. This guy is a creep. And that's who y'all voted in, who's supposedly the lesser of two evils. Then he's threatening Ukraine. Hey, if you guys don't pull from Ukraine, we're going to put more strongholds and we're going to put more sanctions on you. Yeah, the country that's $3 trillion in debt to China is going to threaten somebody financially. All you're doing is making the already raising inflation go even higher. You know what? I just want the community to admit, specifically the black community, because like I said, he got the liberals and everyone else, but he really got y'all. Are y'all just going to admit he tricked y'all? Are y'all just going to admit it that he, he played y'all like a fiddle? He lied. He played with your emotions to get in the office? Because I need us to admit that so that way when the next election comes, we don't vote with our hearts anymore. And we vote with our head and we put some dollars down and we write some actual legislation. Are y'all going to do that now? Have y'all learned y'all lesson? How long are the Democrats going to keep doing this to you guys? Like, how long? I just want to know. I just want to know. But that's episode three of Lion Buying. The next time he lies again, which I'm sure he will, I'll be right back pointing it out to y'all. I'm Alex, and I'm out. Peace.